So you're going back to America at last. That's right. And what are you going to do? I thought I might take a job in a factory or a garage. I've always liked machinery, and besides, when I'm washing a car or tinkering with a carburetor, my mind's free, and at the same time, I feel I'm accomplishing something. And after that? I don't know. I, uh, I might buy a taxi. A taxi? Why not? It's a good life. You're always on the go. You meet a lot of different people. Oh, Larry, for heaven's sake. What you need is a good psychiatrist. Sometimes I think you're completely out of your mind. Just look what you've done with your life. And with mine. What in heaven's name are you trying to prove? I'd hope you'd come back to the States with us. Gray's going into business again, and he'll need all the help he can get. Larry, you've no idea what you've done for him. He spoke of it again, only yesterday. You can't see the change, but I can. When you're around, he's different. Much like his old self. Gray's all right. He doesn't need me. But suppose he does. Suppose something goes wrong again, and he has another breakdown. You can't imagine what he went through the last time. It wasn't just a matter of headaches or nerves. He was sick, really sick. Larry, I've never told this to anyone before, but for months and months we had to watch him every minute. It wasn't just losing his money and the business his father had built up. It was more than that. He blamed himself for all the things that happened to those little people who trusted him with their savings. I honestly believe that if it hadn't been for the children, he'd have killed himself. Well, there's nothing so surprising about that, Isabel. I don't suppose there's a man or woman living today who hasn't felt that way at least once in their lives. The wonderful thing about life is that most of us get a second chance. I got a second chance. Right at the moment when I thought there was nothing in the world worthwhile living for. Do you know what it means to see another man give up his life for you? Do you? Have you ever thought what it is to walk the streets at night knowing that you're walking in another man's shoes? that someone deliberately died so that you might go on living. Listen. Do you remember that night in Chicago when we talked at the country club? I told you then that I didn't think I'd ever find myself. Well, I haven't yet, completely. I found some of the things that I was looking for, and someday I may find them all. But in any event, I'm going to keep right on looking. It isn't easy and it isn't fun. I've known moments of futility and frustration. I've... But that's all past now. Past and done. I know what lies ahead. I know where I'm going. And Gray, in his own way, can do the same thing because this is his second chance. And I know he'll come through. All right. Suppose he does. And what about me? Doesn't it mean anything to you that I love you? that I've never loved anybody else but you, that my children might have been your children, that... Oh, why didn't I marry you when I had the chance? I could have. You know I could have. That last night in Paris, you were ready enough to give up all this foolishness for me. If I just had brains enough, I could have saved you. But no, I threw you out. I thought I was being so noble, remember? Look at me, Larry. You know you love me. You know that you've always wanted me. Say it's true. Say you know it's true. Oh, Larry, I love you. I love you. Promise you'll come back with us. Promise you will. Tell me about Sophie, Isabel. Sophie? What about Sophie? That afternoon she came to your apartment. Did she have anything to drink? Yes. Herzovka? How did you know? Isn't it strange that she should have asked for such an unfamiliar liqueur? She didn't ask for anything. She just helped herself. I had to leave to pick up my daughter at the dentist's. And when I returned, Sophie was gone and the bottle was empty. 
But when you found Sophie gone and the bottle empty, weren't you surprised? I thought she got tired of waiting. When I noticed the bottle was empty, I thought the butler had drunk it. I very nearly spoke to him about it. You never were a very good liar, Isabel. You don't believe me. Not for a moment. Then don't. All right, if you want the truth, you can have it. I did it, and I'd do it again. I was determined to stop at nothing to prevent her marrying you. Nobody else would do a thing. They didn't care. I did. Oh, Larry, you men are such fools. I knew that sooner or later she'd break down and stuck out a mile. You saw how jittery she was at the Ritz. I knew she'd give her soul for a drink. The idea came to me when Uncle Elliot made such a fuss about the stuff. I hated it, but I pretended it was wonderful. I knew if she had a chance, she'd never resist. That's why I offered to give her a wedding dress. I made up my mind that if I found Sophie had not touched the bottle, I'd make the best of things and try to be friends with her. That's true, I swear it. When I came back and saw the bottle was empty, I knew I'd been right all along. That's pretty much what I thought. Sophie's dead. Her body was found in the harbor at Toulon. She'd been murdered. Oh, how horrible. Do they know who did it? No. But I do. There's no need to be shocked about Sophie any longer, Isabel. I've had the feeling all day that Sophie is where she would want to be most. Bob and Linda. Oh, I know it's a very usual and simple way to look at it, but... it's comforting. Goodbye, Isabel. And take good care of Gray. He needs you now more than ever. He's gone. I know. I've lost him. Lost him for good. And I love him. I love him so tenderly. Now I've lost him. Do you suppose we'll ever see him again? It isn't likely. His America will be as remote from yours as the Gobi Desert. It's all so crazy, so useless. What is he trying to do with his life? What does he hope to find? My dear, Larry has found what we all want and very few of us ever get. I don't think anyone can fail to be better and nobler, kinder for knowing him. You see, my dear, Goodness is, after all, the greatest force in the world. And he's got it. Mm -hmm.